saying that it struggled for many years with numerous failed businesses and very low occupancy in the center. They hope to make this space their headquarters and modernize the property. That's an idea, though, that has people upset. There have been rallies in front of the center in hopes of gaining support to preserve the most well-known parts of it, like the community garden and the statues all around it. This is an issue that former Phoenix Mayor Phil Gordon is even passionate about. But a few weeks ago, True North, they sent out a press release saying that they would try to appease all sides here by providing a large space to be used as a community cultural center for a few years. They also said they would preserve the garden as well as an estimated two dozen Chinese sculpture signs and also that 30-foot entrance gate that people know so well. They say they may also consider moving all of those items, even the entire cultural center, to another location like Hans Park. The Chinese United Association of Greater Phoenix, they responded. They weren't happy. They said, quote, to relocate is demolition, to relocate is discrimination, adding that there's no way to safely move the entire property, even if they thought that was a good, a good idea. They also said the ideas True North released to the media were never discussed with them. So their solution, well, they want to buy the property back from the private equity firm. Not sure that that's going to happen, but we do know that the Phoenix City Council will be handling this today, so we'll have to see what comes of that. We'll keep you posted. In Phoenix, Liz Kodalik, Fox 10 News.